What's going on everybody? I'm back with another high risk coin busher video for you all today. And in today's video we're going to be doing a 10 million dollar buy-in. They gave us 80 quarters. Super, super expensive game today. Anyhow, wish me good luck. Hopefully we can walk out of here with a massive profit today. So anyhow, what do they got in there today? Looks like a massive pyramid of chips with a whole bunch of gold on it. All that gold done fell off of it. They got all kinds of five and ten thousand dollar chip towers, all kinds of gold. I'd say there's at least eighty to a hundred ounces of gold in there today, and a couple mystery bags on the edge. Nice. We done got the pink one on the left side, and we got the blue one on the right. But however, both of them got stuck in that loot chute. Just need some quarters or something to fall down on top of it. So anyhow, that right there was the last of our quarters. Let me go collect the quarters real quick, and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, Andy Coin Pusher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. Oh, nice. We got that pink mystery bag on that left side. The blue one is still stuck on the right. It should be falling on down into the pay here within the next couple of seconds. All those $1,000 chips, they're about to go. Just seen that gold tower on the right side move forward a little bit more. Oh yeah, nice. Got a bunch of thousand dollar chips, but unfortunately, that mystery bag is still stuck in there. Maybe that gold tower will get all that stuff to fall on down into the pay whenever that falls down. Oh yeah, nice. We got the gold tower back there on the pusher. And we got that one on the right, but all of it got stuck. Well, we're getting some of it to go. So anyhow, that right there was the last of our quarters. Let me go collect the quarters real quick and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, Andy Queen Pusher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. Oh nice, that gold tower that was stuck on the right fell on down into the loot chute. That is absolutely spectacular. Won't be long, we'll get that wall or pyramid of chips up front to crash down. It's already hanging over the edge just a little bit. And we're also about to get that gold tower back there on the pusher. Has that dice on top of it. And I forgot to point those out. There was five white dice in there today and two gold dice. To win them white dice, we get to roll them at the end of the game. Whatever they land on, my winnings will multiply by that amount. And if we win them gold dice, we get to roll them at the end of the game. Whatever they land on, the gold will multiply by that amount. I think we don't got one of the gold dice on the right side. That one right there fell, but it got stuck against the glass. So anyhow, let me go collect the quarters real quick and we'll get right back to pushing. Alright, I'm back. Let's keep it pushing. So we made a ton of money in gold on that previous round. Oh nice, we got that gold tower. Oh yeah, nice. Jackpot baby, we got that massive pyramid of chips to fall down that was up front. That is absolutely remarkable. But a bunch of those uh, chips got stuck in the loot chute. Oh nice, I think I just seen a white dice fall down. There's another one on that left side getting real close also. So anyhow, let's get that loot chute cleared out and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, AMV coin busher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So we made a tremendous amount of money on that previous round. We got a truckload of gold and a boatload of quarters. And we got two of those mystery bags so far, which y'all seen those fall off there at the very beginning of the game. I just forgot to point out that we got them. And we've also won four dice in total now. We got two gold dice and two white dice. About to get another white dice on that left hand side. It's about to go any moment now. All kinds of gold on the edge also. Come on, big money. Oh yeah, that was a massive push right there. So the gold bars, they're worth whatever one ounce of gold is at the moment. I think they're around like $1,950 a piece. Maybe $1,970. I don't really know. So if somebody can let me know what the exact spot price of one ounce of gold is in the comments, I would appreciate that. Oh yeah, that was a good push right there. Won't be long, we'll have it all cleared out of there. Keeps on pushing this good. Oh nice, I think we just got that dice on the left corner. That is awesome sauce. 
absolutely exceptional game today so far. Oh yeah. Even the corners are pushing better than normal. And normally the sides take a long time to move, but not today. So anyhow, hope y'all are doing good and having an awesome day so far. Remember, if you're new around here and you enjoy the content, do me a favor. Hit that like button, subscribe, turn on the post bell notifications, that way you get notified whenever I upload a brand new video. Would help out a lot, we're on the road to 120,000 subscribers. My goal is to get there by July the 15th, so hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also, let's try to get 3,000 likes on today's video. 3,000 likes, I know we can do that. Just need everyone to hit that like button. So if I can get 3,000 likes on this video tomorrow, I will do a $100 million buy-in. And yesterday, in yesterday's video, I said if that video could get 3,000 likes within the first day, I'd do a $100 million buy-in. It's pretty close to 3,000 likes at the moment, but I think it's still got like 300 to go. And it's pretty much been one day ago, so I'm going to need 3,000 likes within the first day of this video right here being uploaded if you want to see that $100 million buy-in. So I promise y'all get me to 3,000 likes and I'll do that $100 million buy-in. So anyhow, that right there was the last of our quarters. Let me go collect some quarters real quick and we'll try to get those remaining gold bars and that $5,000 chip out of there. I'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. Let's get right back to pushing. So getting back to what I was saying a few minutes ago about subscribing and stuff, it is 100% free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I don't get paid for you all hitting that subscribe button and hitting that like button. I mean, in reality, it just makes it a million percent easier for you all to keep up with the future content. Because once you hit that subscribe button, there should be a bell icon right next to it. If you hit that bell icon, it will give you the option to turn on all notifications. If you turn on all notifications, you will get notifications on your phone, TV, laptop, computer, iPad, whatever you're watching my videos on. You will get notifications every single time I upload a brand new video. And I pretty much post videos seven days a week, so don't miss out on any amazing content. Hit that subscribe button. Like I said, it's really just to help you all out. But I appreciate everyone watching the videos, hitting that like button, and leaving nice comments. It truly means a lot to me. And we're getting pretty close to 117,000 subscribers. So, my goal is to get to 120,000 by July the 15th. So, I'd say we can easily get there. Just need you all to hit that subscribe button. So anyhow, we got it all cleared out of there now. That is absolutely incredible. So now let's go ahead and open up those mystery bags. All right, here they are. So let's go ahead and start with this pink mystery bag. Let's open it up and see if there's anything good and valuable in there. Let's see, what do we get? Well, if I can get it open, these things are difficult to open at times. All right, let's see. Oh yeah, nice, check that out. So we got two more white dice. So like I said earlier, these multiply our winnings. So we definitely have the potential to make a huge profit today, that's for sure. So now let's go ahead and move on to this blue mystery bag. This one feels a little bit more heavier. That more than likely that's a good thing. So we'll see. Oh my goodness, nice. Check this out, we got two $1 chips. So each one of these is worth 500 quarters. So if I cash both of these in, they will give me an extra thousand quarters. That is phenomenal. And a bunch of y'all was wondering if I could save these for a different game. Uh, no, I have to cash these in on the present game. Well, now it looks like we're only getting 500 quarters. Just drop one of them on the ground. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'll pick that up here in a second. And check this out. We also got this $5 chip. And if you don't know what this is for, we get to cash it in. They will take all those towers that are on the blue shelves and they'll put them into the play field somewhere. That is amazing. And lastly, we got this $50 chip. 
And if you don't know what this is for, we get to cash it in at the end of the game. They will take anything that we've lost to them side slots, and they'll put it back into the play field. Again, I don't get to pick which spot they move the chips and stuff that we've lost, but all I know is they'll put them back in there somewhere. And one more thing, if you don't know this, anything that falls down those side slots, that goes to the house. I don't get a win or keep any of that money. But with this $50 chip, they'll pretty much give us a second chance at winning whatever we've lost. So that's not bad, not bad at all. Those mystery bags was loaded up extremely well. So now I'm going to cash in both of those $1 chips and that $5 chip. They will give me an extra 1,000 quarters and they'll move all them towers to the play field. So... Oh, let me call him back here real quick, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, AMV Coin Pusher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I cashed in that $5 chip and those $1 chips. They moved all those towers that was on the blue shelves of the play field. And they gave me an extra 1,000 quarters. So we got around, I think it was like 1,450 quarters now. So we definitely have enough quarters to get it all cleared out of there today, that's for sure. I'm a little bit worried about that $5,000 chip tower on the left because it's leaning toward the blue shelf a little bit. I mean, even if we did lose... Oh, nice. Well, everything fell down perfectly. But what I was going to say, even if we were to lose some stuff to the blue shelves, it would only cost us hundred grand to get that back. Oh no, well it looks like we lost like 4 ounces of gold and a $5,000 chip. Don't know if that would be worth it to pay 100 grand. I mean, we did win 2 gold dice and the gold bars, they're worth about 2 grand a piece. Still, I don't know. What do y'all think? So the gold dice would have to at least land on a, or both of the gold dice combined would have to multiply the gold by 10 before it would be worth it to pay 100 grand to get that back. Well, I think we did get a bunch of those white dice and there is a $5,000 chip we could win. So I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll pay that extra 100 grand later on after we win all those remaining chips and stuff out of there. Still got to knock down that tower, $10,000 chip from the left, standing real tall, got to knock it over. Oh yeah, I don't think it'll take much more, that might get it right there. Oh yeah, nice. Well, it sounds like we're losing a bunch of stuff to the house. Luckily, we got that $50 chip. So I tell you what, let's get that loot chute cleared out. Oh my goodness, I didn't realize that loot chute completely overflowing and that's another thing it's not good to let that loot chute get too full because money will start to fall back to the house it will go to the same place as the money that falls down those sides it all goes in like one big old bucket down there and it goes to the house like I said we got that $50 chip so if we do end up losing something We'll get everything back. Well, they'll put it back into the play field. They won't, like, give us whatever we've lost. They'll give us a second chance at winning it, though. But they're not just going to hand me a bunch of $5,000 chips. That's what we've lost. They're going to make us work for it. Well, speaking of $5,000 chips, there's a whole bunch of them on the edge. Oh, yeah, that was a humongous push right there. And I'm pretty sure we got another dice to fall down. That knife there is getting real close to the edge also. Now this is pushing incredibly well today. Definitely making out like a bandit, that's for sure. All right, well, let me go collect some quarters real quick and we'll get right back to pushing. Alright, I'm back. Let's keep it pushing. So let's try to win all those remaining chips and gold out of there. My goodness, that dice, it was floating in midair, but we got it to go. So that is awesome sauce right there. I think that makes uh, seven white dice we've won in total. And we also got two gold dice. 
So it should be worth it to pay that extra 100 grand to get those skull bars and that $5,000 chip put back into the play field. So after we win that remaining 20, no 30, now it's 20 grand. After we win that remaining 20 grand out of there, I'll pay that extra 100 grand. They'll move all them chips and gold to the play field. And if you don't know this, those chips that are against the walls on the left and the right side, those are for decoration only. The only way I could win those is if I trick shot them into the play field using the quarters. And if you've seen previous videos, y'all know that that is extremely difficult to do. I've only been able to do that like a couple of times. And I've played thousands of these games. But on the other hand, if we were to trick shot those tiny dice that are on top of those chips into the play field, I'm pretty sure y'all can see them. They're on top of those chips right there. If we were to win those, I would have to give those back to them because those aren't the dice that we get a roll at the end of the game. Those have no value at all. Oh yeah, we're about to get that 10 grand on the left. It's hanging over the edge. Nice, we got it. So 10 grand to go. And also, we got a boatload of quarters now. Pretty close to 1,500 of them, I'd say. Oh yeah, we're about to get that remaining 10 grand. It's right there on the edge. Come on, we need a good push on that left side. Oh yeah, that was a good one. Let's see if that gets it. Come on, big money. Oh my goodness. It's defying gravity now. Yeah, it's almost there. Come on, bring me the money. Yeah, it's being a little bit stubborn. Yeah, we'll get it eventually. I'm not gonna give up on it. Well, we only got a couple quarters left. I think we got like 15 or 20 to go. All right, well, if that doesn't get it, I'll go ahead and pay that extra 100 grand. Nice, we got it. Got it all cleared out of there. So let me go pay that extra 100 grand real quick, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I paid that extra 100 grand. They took all that stuff that we lost to the blue shelf and put it back into the play field. Looks like it was five ounces of gold and a $5,000 chip. So more than likely, at the end of the game, after all those dice end up multiplying my winnings and my gold by whatever they all land on, it's definitely going to be worth it since I spent that hundred grand. So we'll probably make at least two or three hundred grand off of this decision right here. That's if all those dice land on pretty good numbers. If all them dice lands on ones, then that would be nothing at all. But I'm sure. At least a couple of them are going to land on a five or a six. So anyhow, we got that tower to fall down to that lower shelf. That's good. And all that's right there in the center, so it should be pretty easy to win. And also, if you're wondering what I do with the quarters after I'm done playing, I normally just trade the quarters that I win in for cash. Because I can't reuse the quarters that I'll win on the next game I play. Well, unless they have that bounty chip, which I haven't seen that in there in a day or two. But if I won that bounty chip today, I would save 500 of my own quarters. Because that's what they allow you to bring on the next game you play if you win that bounty chip. 500 of your own quarters. You still have to do a buy-in, but you're allowed to bring up to 500 of your own quarters. Like I said, that's not in there today, I don't think. Oh yeah, nice, we got it. Got it all cleared out of there. That is absolutely remarkable. So now, I'm going to cash in this $50 chip. And I'll take everything that we've lost to them side slots and I'll put it back into the play field. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I cashed in that $50 chip. They took all those chips and gold that we lost. Put them back into the play field. 
and unfortunately there was no bonus money or gold in there today. So this is everything that I've lost playing. So I don't remember seeing all this money and gold fall down those side slots. So I guess this means that that loot shoe got too full. Cool. We ended up losing a bunch of stuff. So I guess this is a good wake up call that we need to start paying more attention to how full that loot shoe is getting. Cause we'd have missed out on millions of dollars if it wasn't for that $50 chip. There was a ton of gold in there also. So I guess from here on out, we're going to have to start paying attention to that loot chute. Try to keep it emptied out pretty much at all times. Well, speaking of that, let's get it cleared out right now. Alright, there we go. Yeah, I'd say we at least lost, goodness gracious, probably over half a million dollars in chips. Multiply that by whatever the dice land on at the end of the game. That's how much money we'd have missed out on. Well, anyhow, that right there was the last of our quarters. So let me go collect some quarters real quick, and we'll try to get those remaining chips out of there. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Let's keep it pushing. So let's try to get all those remaining five and ten thousand dollar chips out of there. All of those should be pretty easy to win because they're mainly in the center. That center push is a lot better than the corners. Well, if there's any weight or pressure build up on the sides, and you try to get the towers to fall down that are on the sides, the quarters will just fall down those side slots. They won't really move whatever's on the corners. I mean, it moves it eventually, but it's gonna take a while. Nice, we got it. Got it all cleared out of there today. That is absolutely exceptional. This has been a brilliant game today. Absolutely brilliant. So now I'm going to call them back here. I think we won, let's see, nine dice in total. We got seven white dice and two gold dice. They'll put all these dice back there on the pusher. We got to roll them on down to that lower shelf. Whatever they land on, get to multiply our winnings and our gold by that amount. So let me call them back here real quick and I'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. Let's keep it going. So I called them back here. They put all nine of them dice back there on the pusher. So let's roll them on down to that lower shelf. Hopefully they land on some ginormous numbers. It looks like we got a five and a one so far. So that one doesn't count. So it's act like that one don't exist. Anyhow, getting some fives and sixes. That's good. It's a good way to start off the dice rolling oh yeah well unfortunately three of the white dice landed on a one but all the other ones landed on fives and sixes so that's not bad not bad at all so i'm gonna count everything up multiply our winnings and our gold by all that and i'll let y'all know what we've won back from a ten million one hundred thousand dollar buy-in i'll be right back you all are not going to believe how much money i've won today this is absolutely remarkable I ended up winning $5,356,000 in chips, and all those white dice combined ended up multiplying my winnings by 21, and in total, I ended up winning $112,476,000 from a $10,100,000 buy, and that is absolutely outstanding. That's another huge life-changing jackpot win right there. Absolutely mind-blowing. And on top of that, we won 124 ounces of gold, and both of those gold dice combined ended up multiplying the gold by 11. And in total, I ended up winning 1,364 ounces of gold today. And those are around, I'm going to say, $1,975 a piece. So that's not bad, not bad at all for a $10,100,000 buy-in. So if y'all enjoyed today's video, be sure you leave a like and subscribe. Turn on those post notifications, that way you get notified for whenever I upload a brand new video. I will see y'all on the next one. Y'all take care and have an awesome day.